Solway Marshes, only a few miles from my home studio, a truly wild and major wetland, hosting vast numbers of overwintering wildfowl will begin to arrive en masse from early autumn. I am filled with anticipation for these first sights and sounds of huge schemes of greylag and pinkfoot geese crisscrossing the skies above my home. It is a welcome but sure sign that autumn is upon us and also a reminder that winter's chill maybe a glass of malt by a flickering fire is just around the corner. I am repeatedly drawn to this lonely wild coast. Perhaps it is the emptiness that attracts me. There's no doubt that the huge skies and the haunting calls of sandpipe and curlew as they hunt for food along the mudflats only add to the feeling of isolation. For the artist, however, we face challenges of a different dimension. Visual design, composition, colour and value. Uppermost in the mind is how can we create something new and interesting from a largely flat, featureless and muted landscape. Weather on the Solway is particularly fluid, constantly changing. Even on the greyest day, we can, if lucky or persistent, stumble upon a moment of pure magic. Nature flicks a switch. The muted landscape is suddenly fractured by long shafts of yellow, orange and brighter greens. Patches of sunlit sienna sand stand highlighted against the shaded mudflats, illuminated by rays of light forcing their way through gaps in clouds of violet grey, pink and shades of ochre. Cloud edges tinged with pale yellow and salmon red where the sun is warmest. Then just as quickly it's gone. We find ourselves back in a muted landscape as our eyes readjust. The moment was fleeting but it was nature in its full glory. These moments are why I paint, why this wild desolate coast will always attract my attention and why, like so many artists before me, strive hopefully to capture its very essence.